It's 2020 and social media has been around for over a decade. If you still find yourself trying to determine whether or not your organization should be using it, stop. That's no longer a question you should be toying with within your head. That's because the answer is yes, you should be using social media. Now, I'm not going to list all of the benefits of using social media as a healthcare entity because I already talked about that in a previous video. But now that we've officially decided that you should be using social media, we need to evaluate what channels to use. Hi everyone, I'm Matt Moneypenny, and today I'm going to go over how to choose the right social media channels as a healthcare entity. Before we get started though, make sure that you subscribe to our YouTube channel by clicking the button below. While you're down there, you might as well hit that alert bell icon next to it so that when we post new helpful content, you get notified. When you boil it down, there are 10 extremely popular social media channels. Facebook, Instagram, LinkedIn, Twitter, Pinterest, YouTube, Snapchat, TikTok, WhatsApp, and Reddit. Each of those social media channels specializes in certain types of media. For example, successful content on YouTube is original videos, while successful content on Pinterest is mostly infographics. These channels also have different user demographics as well. 60% of TikTok users are between the ages of 16 and 24 years old. So if you're a small to medium sized practice, you simply don't have the bandwidth within your organization to make content that resonates with every audience within all of those different channels. If you attempt to, you'll stress out your workforce and you won't have any success. Instead, what you need to do is determine which social media channel works best for your patient demographic. As an example, if you're a medium sized geriatric doctor, the majority of your patients are senior citizens. So using TikTok probably isn't the best idea for your practice. So when you're determining which social media channel to use, it all starts with knowing what type of person comes into your healthcare organization. Brainstorm with your team and think about questions like, what's the age range of the patients that come in most often? During their appointments, what do they talk about? Are there certain hobbies or interests that they like to do in the off time of work? What are their overall opinions? By asking yourself this handful of questions, you're learning more than just their demographic. You're diving into psychographics as well, which are traits pro marketers analyze on a daily basis. After you've defined the demographics and psychographics of your patients, you'll then have to research the social media channels I mentioned earlier. But don't worry, this isn't very difficult and it all starts with Google. Go to Google and use search terms like who uses Facebook or what do Facebook users like? Since these phrases are searched so often, Google will usually pull an excerpt directly from a credible source and display it at the top of the first page. Once you've done this research on the different types of social media channels and recording your findings, you'll be able to look at your patient demographic and match that up with the channel that fits your audience the best. From there, create accounts for your organization, implement your social media strategy, and you'll immediately start to see results. Your following will climb, leading to more patients in your office, and ultimately more revenue in total. For more information on choosing the right social media channel as a healthcare organization, reach out to eTactics. And you already made it this far into the video, so you might as well like it, share it, and comment below.